Long ride, so you better buck. Uh -huh. Man, I'm real tired of being subtle. Uh -huh. When I come up, y'all in trouble. Woo. Welcome back, YouTube. It's your boy, Anthony X, and I'm back with another video. On this video, we're going to talk about see episode four of the Mugen Train arc, which was titled Insult. And um, I think these shows are getting, I think these episodes are getting better and better. I, I'm, I'm really convinced that these episodes are getting better and better. First of all, the animation was great, right? Now let's let's just jump right into it. I'm not gonna give y'all a break, break, breakdown, but what I will say is uh, the episode started out with, uh, you know, one of the guys on the train who's trying to connect with uh, the Slayers, the Demon Slayers uh, uh, dreams. Uh, let's talk about the guy who looked at Tanjiro's spiritual core, the guy who has tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Uh, so I think he was caught off guard by how beautiful uh, Tanjiro really is as a person, man. Uh, his his incar his incarnations brought him to the spiritual core and said, "Look at it. Tanjiro's spiritual core is the sun. How crazy is that? His spiritual core is the sun. Do you know how how pure you have to be at a per as a person? Uh, uh, wait, let's show off the shirt. Hi, Plan. Um, that's my boy Itachi. But you know how pure of a person you have to be for your spiritual core to be the sun. That was." That's how we start off the episode. That just, we're gonna talk about, this episode was, in this, what I'm learning about this arc is it's about Rengoku, obviously, because they wanna give the fans more of this great character that we really cared about, but it's also strongly, strongly, strongly about Tanjiro and how beautiful he is as a person. So we, let's talk about when the guy was about to fall in Tanjiro. When Tanjiro woke up, the guy started to fall. The spiritual core, the spiritual incarnations picked that guy up and did not let him fall because even though Tanjiro, uh, he's trying to attack Tanjiro, he's trying to attack Tanjiro's spiritual core, Tanjiro is not that person to just let somebody die, man. And and that's why he's just such a beautiful person. Uh, now let's talk about Inosuke's spiritual core, which was insane. It was kind of tight, I ain't gonna lie. I bet you, I bet you she wouldn't want to be in his spiritual core again. And then Zenitsu's spiritual core was even crazier. It showed us two things to me. Zenitsu's spiritual core showed me, number one, that he's obsessed with Nezuko. Number two, it showed me that Zenets, Zenitsu is really a dog. And I've been saying it, man. I've been saying this man is a dog. He showed in this episode with his spiritual core that he's a dog, bruh, and I love it. Um, okay, let's get to the episode now. I just wanted to get that out the way to really talk about Tanjiro and how beautiful this man is. Um, do you know how hard it has to be to wake yourself up? Have you ever tried to wake yourself up from a dream? Like I've tried before, like there's something, <clears throat> there's been a couple times where I'm like, I thought like I heard something and like I heard it in a real world, but I'm dreaming, right? And I, I'm aware that I'm dreaming and I'm trying to wake myself up. It took me, it felt like five minutes to wake myself up. It took me what felt like five minutes. One day, if y'all like catch yourself sleeping and y'all know y'all sleeping, like if y'all, like, I don't know how you know you're sleeping, but if you ever know yourself, you're sleeping and you know you're in a dream, try to wake yourself up and tell me how hard that is. This episode talks about Tanjiro's willpower as a person, man. Even the demon who we end up fighting talked about his willpower. How hard it has to be to wake yourself up. These, okay, so the kids who are invading the dreams, uh, what I got from them is desperation, man. Pure desperation. They're like I talked about this in the, I think the last episode uh, two weeks ago because we didn't get an episode last week. But I talked about this episode two weeks ago how the kids who were invading the dreams, man, they just wanted to have a better. They just wanted to see a better life. They wanted to see happiness, and that was really sad to see. And um, I think Tanjiro understood that. Like when he woke up and he saw the kids and he knew what they were doing. He, you know, they were ready to attack him. They woke up with that smoke and he didn't, he didn't give it to him. He just gave him a karate chop to the back of the neck, told him to go to sleep. That, that's, that's the nicest thing he could have done in that moment. Uh, but then he, when he saw the kid with um, tuberculosis who tried to get into his dream, he didn't press him. He didn't like, he, he knew that that was the guy who was connected to him. He didn't even press him. He was just like, are you good? Are you okay? Because this man still cares about other people despite what he's going through. And that's why you have to love, 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 love Tanjiro, man. All right, so let's talk about the battle. Let's talk about the battle now. We got that out the way. We got that out the way. We got the, the train part. Let's talk about the battle that Tanjiro had with the lower one demon. 
I got what I got from that battle was Tanjiro is a dog. He's a dog. He's the purest, most kind-hearted, sweetest person in the world. But if you cross him, if you cross his family, if you cross anything that he cares about, he's going to give you that crazy smoke. And that's what I love about Tanjiro. Um, he stood his ground for what he's for his for not only his friends in this episode and Nezuko, he stood ground for his family and his family, the memory of his family. He would not let that demon desecrate his family, desecrate what they meant for him, desecrate how how much they loved him. And let's like it was cruel what the demon was showing him. It was cruel that they had that he had to see his family blaming him for what happened. We got to see Tandro's guilt in this episode that he feel from that incident. But even when the demon was showing his family mad at him, blaming him for what happened to them, Tandro didn't believe it because first of all, he knew that his family loved him and he knew they would never treat him like that. Think about that. Think about that. He knew that his his family was so filled with love. His, his everything with his dad was love. His mom was love. His siblings, everything was just about love in his household. That when a demon showed his family blaming him for what happened, he didn't even believe it, man. Because he said, "My family, that I don't 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 insult my family like that." And that's why this episode is called Insult. Don't insult my family like that, bro. Don't do it, bro. I know my family loves me. I know that they would never talk to me like this. And I and I I guess he doesn't blame himself because even if we though we, even though we saw in a dream that he felt that guilt, he felt like, oh wow, like, you know, I can't believe this happened when there, his family was saying that to him in the dream state. He's like, no, bro, I'm not letting y'all do this to me. My oh, man, that was that was beautiful. Pure, pure, beautiful. The demon was surprised by Tandro's willpower. Um what else do I want to talk about? I got notes. I'm telling you, I got notes. Okay, this, I'm going to end the episode because I, I don't want to just keep talking on these episodes. What I'll finish by saying, I got goosebumps watching uh, Tanjiro fight the demon because he kept put, getting put to sleep. Ugh, wake up. Ugh, shake it off. I got bah, Get put to sleep. Ah, wake up. Ah, ah, ah. Fight him off, bro. That was so cold. I, I love the, and the... Let's clap it up for the animation team. I'm trying to think. What's the animation team? What's the animation team? Y'all know the animation team for Demon Slayer? Clap it up for them, man. Clap it up for them. If y'all see them, if they ever watch this video, you guys are doing an amazing job with Demon Slayer. It's, it's really one of the best animated shows I've seen, man. Um, and then it ends with my boy Inosuke. Okay, so Nezuko told, uh, or Tanjiro told Nezuko to wake up his friends, wake up the other Demon Slayers, and my boy Nezuko pops up like the true bad I'm not gonna say the other part he is and he's ready for battle he kept calling himself lord and no i love it bro he got that confidence and that willpower because he is not a dog he's a boar i'm talking to y'all later i'll see y'all for episode five peace see ya later bruh peace